Welcome to a day in Thailand where the promised thunderstorms just won't come. But we have a ray of sunshine right here. Mikey's first battery pack. Look at that. It's magnificent. So since our last episode, I bottom, 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 bottom balanced these 16 cells to 2.900 volts. Then I put them in my 3D printed 21700 battery pack holder thing, and then I soldered them up. Now, some people are screaming right now saying, why are you soldering? Why aren't you spot welding? Well, one, don't have a spot welder. And two, I'm actually using the wire between the solder points as a fuse because my goal with this pack is to test it to failure. If this thing catches on fire, I know exactly what happened and I know how to prevent it. So one of the things I do to prevent a catastrophic failure is I use 24 gauge wire as a fuse between cells. And I picked this up from Jehu Garcia and some other uh, YouTube battery folks who are have done much more of this than I have, so I've learned a lot. Um, and if all works out, then I may possibly go to the spot welding technique, or I have another clever plan, which we will talk about later. But, so what I want, there's no parallel here, it's all in series, 16 cells, and I've labeled them. And you can see on the bottom, Every one of these is side to side, but on the top, they alternate, which gives me a zigzag pattern. So this is my most positive point of the pack, and I've got my meter connected here. So it goes in here, underneath it goes across to this, here, 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 to my most negative terminal. And at 2.9 volts times 16 cells, that gives me 16.4 volts total pack voltage. And if we look at the meter, we're at 46.3. Uh, that's the best I can get on this meter with the scaling. Uh, if I try and use a lower scale, it overloads. Or, and uh, so you saw it was 46.4 for a second. Then it dropped down to 46.3. So this could be, God, the glare. It could be 46.37, 46.38, 46.39. But I individually measured all the cells. They're within a couple of thousandths of a volt each. So I'm secure uh, feeling that this pack is ready to begin our adventure. So the next thing I'm going to do is set up a profile in that charger and we're going to charge this pack up to a reasonable voltage and then we can run our first discharge test and measure current and check uh, temperatures and make sure none of the fuses blow and all that stuff so let's get going okay i have programmed in this charge profile into the charger and hooked everything up i tested the polarity the charger positive here, the charger negative here, my meter is across the same terminals and reading here. So I'm going to turn the charger on. And, oh, stop. Well, one thing I learned about setting up the charger is if you mark it the default and you plug it in, it just starts charging. So I unmarked it as a default, Reese put the settings in here. I am looking at our charge profile, so I hold to select it. And then I want to activate it. Yes. And then I hold this down to start. So. Cross your fingers, look for smoke, watch the voltage. 
Oh, we have to connect the battery. That was for safety. Okay, we are putting energy into the battery. Two amps, which is 0 0.5 C, which is exactly what the spec sheet tells me that I should be doing. I don't see any smoke. The voltage is still reading nicely across the entire pack. We've put our first 0 0.1 of an amp hour in. Voltage is climbing. And our target is 64 volts because I want to try to charge it to 4.0 volts with 16 cells. I'm not going anywhere near the maximum of 4.2 volts right now. And we're just going to gently, gently charge this up. One watt hour. Okay. I'm just going to sit here and watch and fast forward through. Okay, we hit our 64 volt peak and uh, the current starting to come down a little bit. That's good. If we look at the charging graph, we went from 47.5 volts slowly up to 63.9. The current has been constant at 2 amps, but I think we're going to start dropping down now. Yep, 1.8 amps. This thing is hot. We're, it's at 44, it says 47 Celsius. It's hot. You don't want to leave your hand on that. The batteries are basically room temperature. Maybe one or two degrees above room temperature. Everything is good here in the pack, the cells, the wires, the connector. Everything has gone really well for the last uh, hour and a half of the charging cycle. We can see the current coming down again. So, let's wait for this to taper off. And we have charge complete. If you can't read that, that's what it says. And the meter just timed out. <clears throat> to tick over two hours, two hours and four minutes, 3.46 amp hours, 2.08 watt, 208 watt hours. And nothing's on fire. The chargers, ooh, still a little toasty, but Everything in the pack was good. Temperatures never raised more than a couple of degrees above room temperature. So that was successful. That's awesome. All right. Let's wrap it up for this video. And the next one, I'll run some tests and see how much energy we can get out of this.